Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to show you how to create a QR code scanner using the ESP32 CAM module and open CV. With this project, you will be able to easily scan QR codes using Python libraries and the ESP32 camera module. QR codes have become an integral part of our daily lives. We use them for a variety of purposes, including payments, accessing websites, and sharing social profiles on resumes. Additionally, large tracking and shipping companies use QR codes to differentiate their products. A QR code is a type of image that contains encoded information in a specific format that can be converted and decoded using a program. The decoding process involves detecting the different zones and aligning the dark boxes in a specific way. This video is sponsored by bcbway.com, a website that provides everything you need for making printed circuit boards. They have a bunch of different products and services, like flex and rigid PCBs, starting at just $1.47, and aluminum PCBs for $122 per square meter. Whether you are a beginner or a pro, PCB Way has what you need to make your own circuit boards for personal or commercial projects. So, if you are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your PCBs made, Check out the PCBWay.com link provided in the description. To build a QR code scanner using the ESP32CAM module, you will need the following materials. ESP32CAM board by AI Thinker FTDI module Micro USB cable and jumper wires. The ESP32 CAM module, developed by AI Thinker, is based on a 32 bit CPU and features a combined Wi Fi and Bluetooth or BLE chip. The module is equipped with the 0V2640 camera module, which boasts the highest camera resolution of up to 1600 by 1200. The camera connects to the ESP32 CAM board via a 24-pin gold-plated connector. Additionally, the board supports SD cards of up to 4GB, which can be used to store capture image. To connect the ESP32 module to the FTDI module, first connect the 5V and GND pins of the ESP32 module to the 5 volt and GND pins of the FTDI module. Next, connect the RX pin of the ESP32 module to the EOT pin of the FTDI module and the DX pin of the ESP32 module to the EOR pin of the FTDI module. Finally, it is essential to sort the IO0 and GND pins together to put the device in programming mode. Once programming is complete, this connection can be removed. In this project, we will be using a different streaming process than the Janitor ESP web server example. As a result, we need to add the ESP CAM library to our project. This library provides an object-oriented API for using the OV2640 camera on the ESP32 microcontroller and it is a wrapper of the ESP32 camera library. To download the ESP CAM library, go to the following link and download the zip file as shown in the video. Once you have downloaded the library, add it to the Arduino library folder by following these steps. In this video, we will provide you with the source code for QR code scanner with the ESP32 CAM module. You can download the source code from the link in the video description or from our website. Before uploading the code to the ESP32 CAM module, you need to make a small change to the code. Update the SSID and password variables in the code to match your Wi-Fi network. 
Make sure that the correct board is selected in the tools menu. Select the correct COM board in the tools menu. Compile the code and check for any errors. Upload the code to the ESP32 CAM module. Open the serial monitor to see the output of the program. After successfully transmitting live video, ensure that you note down the displayed IP address. To view the live video stream on your computer, you need to write a Python script that drives video frames. The first step is to install Python. Visit python.org and download Python. Install Python after downloading it. Next, open the command prompt and install the following libraries. numpy, opencv, and pyjitbar. Type pip install numpy in the command prompt and press enter. Once the installation is complete, type pip install opencv python and press enter. Finally, type pip install pyjitbar and press enter. Close the command prompt once the installations are complete. Open any Python code editor. Create a new folder and within the folder, create a new Python file and copy paste the code provided. Update the URL variable with the IP address copied from the Arduino serial monitor. Save the code and execute it. To test the project's functionality, hold some QR codes in front of the ESP32 CAM module. The computer screen displays the QR code details, as shown in the video. With just a few simple steps, you can create your own QR code scanner using the ESP32 CAM module and open CV. Thanks for watching.